move your mat, <clears throat> um, that's fine. And take the time to do that. Or, um, you know, just when we get to that part in the class, you, you know, obviously come off your mat and go find a wall if that works. Um, yeah, 10 o'clock. I do have a few more videos on YouTube and I've been very behind about putting on the videos on YouTube. So if you guys um, keep reminding me if you, if you like them, I honestly don't know how many people are actually going and looking at the YouTube videos, but um, I will put a few more. Today's and I have two more, so three more. Um, okay, so um, well, I'm gonna get started. Jen's uh, my sister-in-law, our beautiful model, uh, will be out just a second, but she's telling me to stop mumbling and to talk louder. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> so as we get settled, I want you to um, take a moment to think about this statement: the mind only knows what it knows. Right? The mind only knows what you tell it. And that may seem like an obvious statement, but let me further describe what I'm, what I'm saying. So our mind's responsibility is to take in little pieces of information um, and determine, is that important? Um, <clears throat> is it not important? Do I care about it? And then as it's processing this information, it attaches an emotion and then stores it as a memory. And then all those pieces of memory um, come together to create a story, to create a narrative. Um, and I know Sophia from Veggies Don't Bite, um, I was talking to her the other day, she's awesome, she's probably on it right now. Um, <clears throat> we were talking about how powerful it could be to really hone in on our stories and how they can limit us. Um, and I think <clears throat> during this time, um, everyone feels limited to a certain extent because there's so much uncertainty um, in terms of you know where we're going. And so for me personally, I know what's happening is my mind is you know taking in the news and then reading something and then talking to a friend and um, all these little pieces of information they attach to to fear, right? Uh, the, the unknown. Um, and then my mind starts to go on overdrive, like, like looking for an answer. And so what I'm suggesting that you consider is that the mind cannot think us out of anxiety or discomfort. It's just not the role of the mind. And so sometimes we have to, you know, thank our mind for being here because we obviously need our mind to do um, its job. But sometimes we have to quiet the mind a bit so we can come into our heart and, and really trust our intuition. Um, and I think a lot of us, especially as adults, are out of that habit. And, and we, we use phrases like, um, uh, I, I'd love to do that, but I know it's not right, or I, I shouldn't do that, right? And that's just a limiting belief, a story that is probably holding us back. So my suggestion is if you get into a space where your mind is on overdrive and you're trying to make sense of all of this, that it may help you to just pause and try to quiet the mind. And that's, this is where yoga comes in. This is where meditation comes in and to lean into your heart <clears throat> and ask yourself like what feels right or where should I go and how can I just be in the moment and how may I be able to reframe this story. So <clears throat> my hope is that you have at least um, 50 minutes or so to kind of stretch and move and breathe um, and then send that energy of openness that your physical body creates, that asanas create, up into your mind. So then you can quiet the mind at the end of the practice and ask yourself like, how can I follow my heart? How can I lean into the support and energy of my heart rather than letting the mind go on overdrive? Okay, so sit with that. Jen, if you don't mind, please come out. And then we'll start in child's pose. Um, however, I'm gonna ask um, to create a little tricep stretch as well. So reach your arms forward, touch your palms together, and then bend your elbows and bring your forehead down on the mat. So like Jen's doing, she's in child's pose. Now touch the palms, perfect. And then bring your thumbs to the nape of your neck. So the idea is that you're getting a subtle stretch in the inner thighs, the groin, the hips, and also a tricep stretch. Okay, so some of you may need to bring your elbows a little closer towards one another, maybe even a little closer towards the top of your mat. But the idea is that you do feel a stretch in the triceps. Okay, take the breath in and open your mouth. Two more times, breathe in. Open your mouth. 
And one more time, breathe in and breathe out. So my hope is that breath just creates an opportunity to slow down, to really uh, invite yourself into the sacred space of connection. Okay, so if you're not quite there, distractions or what have you, just feel free to take big open mouth exhales, you know, soften the body a little bit, <clears throat> soften the mind, okay? <clears throat> or that chaotic thinking. But when you're ready, seal your lips and breathe in through the nose. Keep the lips sealed and exhale through your nose. So I'm curing today Ujjayi Pranayam, which is um, this really victorious, powerful breath that goes in and out through your nose. But if that creates anxiety or frustration, right? Like your mind starts to really get triggered. Like, am I doing this right? It doesn't feel right. I'm not doing this right. Maybe I shouldn't be here. Forget it, I'm gonna quit, right? Like that's what I'm talking about where the mind gets on overdrive. So just find a natural, slow, committed breath and slow down your thoughts. A couple more rounds on your own. You know, I say this all the time, but <clears throat> although we're you know, practicing by ourselves, lean into the support of this um, group, this uh, Instagram feed, where just, you know, each one of us in our own domains and, and are practicing differently, but all still cosmically connected. So kind of lean into the energy and support of that as you quiet the mind and steady the breath. Feel free to let me know if the music's too loud or not loud enough or I'm too loud or not loud enough. Okay, sip the breath in, ujjayi breath in. And ujjayi breath out. Keep your breath going in and out through your nose. Reach your arms forward and then crawl up to a tabletop position. So align your shoulders over your wrists, scoot the knees in a bit so the knees are beneath the hips, and cat and cow. Drop your belly down, lift your chin up, pause for a moment, tug your shoulders back towards your hips so you brought in through your collarbone, breathe in. Exhale and cat pose, round your spine, push the earth away and feel the upper back widen. Go ahead and move through the sequence on your own. You're moving through flexion extension just to warm up. You can add any additional movement that feels good, a shake of your hips, a sway of your head. So a bit of trust there that you're going in the direction that you ought to go and not where you think you should go. So find that and then pause with a flat back. Let's go puppy pose. So leave your hips over your knees. Yeah, you got it. And then draw, crawl your arms forward. You can aim to bring your chin on the mat or your forehead, whatever feels more supportive, but you still feel the stretch in the side body, okay? And the shoulder spaces. Try to scoot your hips forward a little bit more, which may mean you creep, crawl your palms forward a little bit more. So you isolate your hips over your knees. Yep, and then awesome. So you're gonna feel this nice stretch in the side body. For most of us, there's an, a major arch in the lower back. So it's okay for a moment, but now take the arch out of the back, just like Jen did. So you're pulling your flaring rib cage in, taking the arch out of the back, okay? Breathe into it, breath in, and breath out. Really good, gaze forward and then slither onto your forearms for a plank. Push your forearms down, tuck your toes, and lift your knees off of the mat. Okay, push heavily through the forearms. Feel the back body lift. Now, Jen, drop your hips a whole bunch more. Really good. So steady into the breath. Now tighten your quadriceps. Yep, awesome, Jen. So the backs of your knees puff up. And then push your forearms down a ton so that you feel your back body widen. So the shoulder blades separate from one another. And then constantly working with Jen, and she's so um, improved to lengthen the tailbone towards the back of, or towards the heels. So you lengthen the lower back and pull the rib cage in. And keep your ears in line with the shoulders and notice the breath and notice how your mind tends to get triggered, right? Cause you've been here before and you're like, how long is she gonna hold this? I don't think I can hold it. I need to get out of it, right? So that's where the mind starts to, you know, take over. So here, come into your heart space and be like, you know what? Find that little bit of determination, that little bit of trust that you can stay with it. Okay, so we're turning up the music a little bit. Now from here, hover your right toes off the mat. Okay, and breathe in. 
Exhale, tap your right knee to your upper right arm. Extend your toes back and then lower them down. And now switch it out. Left heel up and then tap on the exhale. So good, move at your own speed. Keep pushing your forearms down. Feel the back body widen. And then you exhale as you drive your knee in towards your upper arm. So you can, like Jen's doing, open mouth exhales ha, as you contract or keep the ujjayi going. But notice the tendency to constrict the breath, like hold the breath and even tighten your facial muscles. Okay, so the entire time the breath leads you, um, any breath technique that works that keeps you breathing is perfect, okay? Four more, so two more each side. Okay, it looks awesome. One more, and then once you've finished it off, pause and forearm plank. From here, side plank on your forearm. So parallel your left forearm to the top of the mat. Swivel your heels and open up. And okay, right arm goes up. Tighten your legs and squeeze the ankles towards one another. See if you can knock the top hip forward a little bit. So two hips face the side wall. Perfect place to stay here or breathe in, reach up. Thread the needle, exhale, and like you're gonna high five someone onto the side of you. Okay, so you reach up on the inhale, check in here and thread the needle on the exhale. Ha, good. Keep it up, reach up, inhale. Hey Beth, ha, and exhale. Four more, reach up, inhale. Ha, exhale. Two more, breathe in. Exhale, reach. One more, breathe in. And exhale, reach. Come back to forearm plank. Okay, awesome, Jen. And then we'll switch sides. Parallel your right forearm to the top of the mat. Swivel your heels and reach your left arm up. Now the tendency will be for the hips to knock out. So draw the top hip forward, two hips face forward. Legs super tight. Reach up, breathe in. Exhale and thread the needle. Okay, reach up, inhale. Exhale, thread the needle. Notice the tendency to bring your ear very close to your shoulder. Push your forearm down so there's space between the ear and shoulder. Awesome, Jen, keep breathing. So you reach up on the inhale, thread the needle on the exhale. Four more, breathe in and breathe out. Two more, breathe in and breathe out. One more, breathe in. Super good, and breathe out. And then forearm plank. Okay, keep your forearms down, dolphin pose. Walk your elbows close, or your feet rather, closer towards your elbows. Okay, so the hips are high, hold and breathe. Okay, so just a preview posture, preparatory posture for our forearm stamp. Keep pushing the forearms down and feel as if you're hugging the inner elbows towards one another. So you're doing this motion here, but in your dolphin pose. So that the back body widens and you're not dumping into the forearm. Like you're the, the opposite of retracting the shoulders. Your protraction, push the forearms down, back body widens. Keep the belly in, nice and long through the spine. Okay, a little bit more core work, breathe in. See if you can lift both elbows off the mat at the same time. Awesome, and then let's get off your arms. Walk your palms back towards your feet and then go frog pose, molasana. Feet come wide, heels on the mat, toes off the mat, palms to your chest. And I'm just checking in here. Okay, so from here, bring the weight to the outer edges of your feet. Good, and then use your elbows to draw your knees back in space. Okay, so push the elbows into the knees, feel the center of your chest lift up towards your thumbs. Okay, one more time, breathe in. And breathe out, super good. Place your palms down, toe heel your feet to six inches apart, round dog pose. And you can bend your knees, no problem. Relax your arms. You can interlace your palms with the nape of your neck. Take chest expansion. Any um, variation with the upper body that feels good. And the idea is that you bring the weight to the balls of your feet. And notice the tendency to clench your toes. So you're trying to find that space between um, clenching the toes and then letting the toes be nice and wide. But the hips come over the heels. It's totally fine to bend your knees. Okay, so see if like you can just you know, open the backs of the legs, decompress um, spine, and then no tension at all in the neck or facial muscles. Okay, right, one more breath in. Ha, and the breath out. Walk your feet together. Little bit of space between your heels. Big open mouth. Exhale. Ha, and slowly inhale, rise up to standing. Okay, little shoulder shrug at the top. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, shoulders fall back and down. Nice and easy, you can relax your arms by your sides. 
or palms to touch at heart center. Okay, so settle back into the sweet sound of your breath. So Ujjayi breathing in and out through the nose or at least a natural breath. Then an opportunity here just to commit to your motivation, your intention. And my thought today is to just quiet the mind so you can listen to the patterns that reveal themselves within this physical practice. Notice um, the patterns that come up. If they're patterns um, that keep you going, hold on to them. If they're not, then just bring some insight there and see if you can just, you know, symbolically let go. Okay, here we go together. We breathe, pull the energy in and send it out. Exhale. One more time. Breathe in and breathe out. Super good. Open your eyes, release your palms. Inhale, mountain pose, Tadasana. Lift your arms high up and overhead. Now, so for this variation, clap your palms to touch, let your thumbs cross, and then bring your thumbs forward enough that when you gaze up, your thumbs are about over the bridge of your nose. Yeah, so hold, pause, yeah, perfect. Rib cage is in, tailbone down, and the palms are touching, gaze is up towards the thumbs. Okay, keep the tailbone down, the weight in your heels. Breathe in. Now bend your elbows so the thumbs come back to the nape of your neck, and then lift your chin away from your chest, go back, bend. Okay, so still bend at the neck spine. That's awesome, Jen. Although the forearms are there to help support your neck. Okay, open the triceps. Keep drawing the tailbone down and then weight in the heels and go for it. So here's where the mind starts to go, oh, no, 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 I'm not going to do this. I'm not good enough. I'm not, I can't go that far. Right? What I'm asking you to do is let that go and let the heart go, yeah, you know what? This openness feels interesting. Can you stay with it? Breathe in. A little bit more and breathe out. Super good. Arms up. Breathe in. Swan dive down and breathe out. So open through your chest, heart and throat, forehead towards your shins. Take a halfway lift. Weight is in the balls of your feet. Retract your shoulders. Weight is in the front part of the feet. And then crawl to high plank pose. So high plank pose, top of a push up. Again, just checking in here. We'll take this nice and slow. Tighten your legs. Shift forward, breathe in. Lower halfway down and breathe out. Upward facing dog. Inhale, pause for a moment. So take a moment just to enjoy this nice stretch in the front line of your body. Notice if it feels okay to push the tops of your feet um, down so that your thighs lift off the mat. Okay, one more breath in. Little bit of power, high plank pose, exhale. Elbows are bent, yep. High plank pose, inhale, and downward facing dog. Good, so no problem to take out that double chaturanga. Um, your choice there. Now we'll just put that sequence together, start to connect breath to movement. Okay, be sure to push heavily through the knuckles of the index finger and thumb. Lift your hips up, pull the rib cage in, and let the inner thighs draw in, perfect, and towards the wall behind you. Okay, one more grounding breath in, and breath out. Good, bend your knees, look forward, hop to the top of your mat, or step or walk. Halfway lift, inhale, pinch the shoulder blades. Go deep on your forward fold, exhale. All the way up, inhale, rise up, touch your palms together. Exhale, back bend, bend your elbows, lift your chest, weight is in your hips. Arms up, inhale, belly in, tailbone down. Swan dive down, exhale, open through your chest. Halfway lift, inhale, weight is forward in the balls of the feet. Chaturanga, exhale, step or jump back. Stay nice and tight through your legs as you lower. Upward facing dog, inhale. Low plank pose, exhale. High plank pose, inhale. And downward facing dog. Again, customize that chaturanga in a way that um, matches the sound of the breath. Okay, so the breath is choppy and fast. You know, maybe dial back a bit. Breath is connected. See if you can push yourself to a level that keeps you interested, um, but not so far that there's any irritation or frustration. Okay, here we go. Find the breath. And then one more time, that same sequence. Bend your knees, inhale. Gaze forward, exhale, step, hop, or jump. Halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold and exhale. All the way up, inhale, rise up. Touch your palms together. Exhale, bend your elbows, back bend. Drop into the heels, go for it. Arms up, inhale, awesome, gen belly in. Swan dive down, exhale, there's an add on here. Halfway lift, inhale. Crow pose, bakasana, exhale. Palms down, bend your knees. Bend your elbows and bring your knees to your upper arms. And round through your back like Jen's doing. Push heavily through the knuckles of the index finger and thumb. 
carry the load in the core. Notice the tendency to clench the breath or get tight through the neck. It's a slow, committed breath. Breathe in. Step or jump back. Land with bent elbows. If you're jumping back, roll the shoulder heads back. Good. Upward facing dog. Inhale, pause. Low plank pose. Exhale. High plank pose. Inhale. Downward facing dog. Good. Really nice. Right heel high. Inhale. Bend and open. So get some space um, at the hip flexor, the knee, the ankle joint. Guys, let me know if the music's okay. <clears throat> and the sound of my breath, uh, voice is okay. Although scratchy, I know. Okay, and then again, keep pushing through the palms, the insides of the palms. Let your shoulders square off to the top of the mat. Then move the hip, knee, and ankle around, fight it back. Okay, breathe in. Exhale, tap your right knee to your upper right arm. Power through your back leg. Isolate your shoulders right over your wrist. Now from here, keep your knee touching your upper arm, but lower your hip so that your knee touches your wrist, and then all the way up. So lower and lift, lower and lift. Find the rhythm, you lower and then lift. Just building a bit more strength here. Lower and lift. We're here four. We're here three, here two, and one, right heel high, awesome, Jen. Exhale, knee towards your chest, pause for a second, breathe in, step all the way through to low lunge and breathe out, okay? Nice and gently drop your left knee down, okay? And then inhale, lift your chest, lift your arms. So crescent moon, lift your chest and arms. Perfect. And just like Jen did, more than likely, you'll wanna step your right toes forward a bit so you can align your right knee over the right rib, uh, ankle. And then from here, um, let the inner thighs drop in towards one another. Like you're trying to pull both ends of the mat up. So the right heel draws back, the left knee draws forward, and all that energy pulls up and out through the fingertips. Okay, so keep the upward motion, lift up, inhale. Side stretch, exhale. So right arm down, left arm up and over. And your right fingertips can hover like Jen. Maybe you have a block or a water bottle, or they can touch the mat. But the idea is you feel the stretch from the knee all the way up through the fingertips, chin away from your chest, and the hips stay level and lifted. Okay, breathe in. Stay with it and breathe out. Reach up, inhale. Good. Now from here, it's um, high pyramid pose on the exhale. So no need to shorten your stance. Place your palms down so the hands frame the right foot. No need to shorten your stance, just straighten your legs, and then sandwich your chest towards your thigh and your forehead towards your shin. So we flow that, that sequence, and we'll have one breath to do that. Keep your back heel lifted, tighten through your back leg, and let your right, uh, right excuse me, left inner thigh draw up, and the left hip pull forward. Okay, so left inner thigh draws up, left hip pulls forward, right hip pulls back. Okay, lift and lengthen, breathe in. And sink your chest towards your thigh and breathe. Awesome. One more. Look up. Inhale. Low lunge. Exhale. Bend your right knee. Okay. Place your right palm to the pinky edge of your right foot. Spin your back foot flat like warrior two stance. And then inhale. Reach your left arm high. So it's extended side angle. Just a little deeper um, hip stretch there. And so the tendency will be this. For the hips to lift up. Right? So what I'm asking you to do is to drop into it. So you're aiming towards getting the knee joint and the hip joint in one line, and then that reach up. So again, water bottle is perfect. Tenting your right fingertips is perfect. But move past the resistance to see if you can drop your hips even more. And then now notice the breath, All right? So the breath tends to go when we start to get into that physical um, exertion. So find the ability to stay in it, okay? So from here, keep your legs exactly as they are. Hips nice and low, reach up, inhale. Exhale, extended side angle, reach the left arm forward. So now your bicep is in line with your ear. Okay, push heavily through the pinky edge of your back foot. And then push through the pinky edge of the front foot. And now you have a straight line from the heel, hip, shoulder, out through the fingertips. Right rib cage pulls forward, left rib cage pulls back. Okay, looks good. Breathe in. And breathe out. Okay, big transition. It's lateral lunge. Back knee is bent with a twist. So you crawl through the long side of the mat on the left. Parallel your front foot. Bend your back knee. And then take the twist. Right arm down, left arm high. Okay, so once you do it a couple of times, you'll get it. It'll feel good. Um, but, you know, a little bit big transition. And, and you just want to watch the knees. So the knees are always pointing in the direction of your toes. 
push heavily through the pinky edges of your feet. And, and then bend deeply into the back leg. Roll your shoulders back and then find that reach up. It's awesome. Really nice. Okay, breathe in. Exhale, low lunge, front of the mat. So crawl through the long side of the mat. Bend your right knee. Roll your shoulders back and pull your chest forward so you open the upper back. Then from here, nice and controlled, inhales, chair pose. Step the left foot forward to meet the right and reach your arms up. Okay, so get into the depth that keeps you interested but truly connected to your breath. So some of you, you know, I think often when we're in yoga class, right, and we're comparing to everybody else, we tend to push ourselves beyond what we should be doing. Maybe here, you know, when you're at home by yourself, so easy to give up on yourself. So find that really beautiful balance. Keep the rib cage in, so good, Jen. Bend your knees a little bit more. Keep the weight in the heels, so the knees shift back. Okay, so the power and the strength comes in the stillness. We flow and move the energy around, and we for sure pause to develop the discipline, the commitment, and the strength. One more breath in. Forward fold and breathe out. So halfway lift, inhale, throw the shoulder blades towards one another. Chaturanga, exhale, step or jump back. Lower slowly, upward facing dog, inhale. Low plank pose, exhale. High plank pose, inhale and downward facing dog. How's it going? Breathe in and breathe out. I got a question, when is the next class? We'll have this live um, for 24 hours, of course, and then the next class is Tuesday, 8.45 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Okay, I hear it can't hear me. Okay, so I'm gonna turn down the music here. All right, so let's go left side. Left heel high, bend and open, get some space there, cross the hip, knee and ankle. My husband's downstairs jumping in, so if you can't hear me, let me know. Maybe it's just him. All right, so move it around a little bit so that you get some space across the hip, knee, and ankle joint, and then breathe in. Exhale, left knee to upper left arm. So see if you can get your knee just above your elbow, and then maybe if you need some help, you can soften the right knee down. Like Jen did, you can get right into it. You can lift and lower, lift, and lower. So left knee stays touching the left arm, lift and lower, lift and lower. So what we're doing here, lowering the hips and lifting the hips, but still keeping the load in the core. Okay? And lots of balance um, in the palms by pushing heavily through the insides of the palms. We're here just two more times, lower and lift and one more, and then left heel high. Exhale, knee towards your chest, round through your back, and then step forward, low lunge. Nice and softly, drop your right knee down. Inhale, kneeling crescent, lift your chest, lift your arms. Take some time to widen your stance. And then get your left foot forward. Good, and then from here, you know, again, the tendency is gonna be for you to pull back, that you're not gonna wanna drop into it to find that openness. Okay, so see if you can, you know, um, move past it a little bit, even if it's for just a moment, and then turn the, the hip pointers up and the rib cage in, back engage your glutes, so the hip flexor opens more. Okay, breathe in, reach up, side stretch and breathe out, left arm down, right arm up and over. Okay, adjust as you need, you can use the block or not, again, doesn't really matter, as long as you're feeling that nice deep side stretch. Okay, settle into the breath, breathe in. Reach a little bit more and breathe out. Good, and then arms up, inhale. Okay, big movement again, high pyramid pose. So no need to shorten your stance. Place your palms down, straighten your legs, chest towards your thigh, forehead towards your shin. Scoot your right hip forward, navigate your left hip back, tighten the front parts of your legs so the back parts of the legs open. Awesome, breathe in. <laughs> And breathe out. Thanks, Kristen. It's just Josh. Cool. All right. We'll turn the music down a little bit. Hey, one more time here. Breathe in. And sink a little bit deeper. And breathe out. Good. Look up and lengthen. Inhale. Low lunge. Exhale. So again, you shouldn't have to uh, lengthen and shorten the stance. Um, now from here, place your left palm to the wide edge of your foot. Spin your back foot flat. And inhale, right arm high. Okay. Hi, Love you. My little yogi. Okay, push heavily through the pinky edges of your feet and drop into the lunge. Even again, if it's just for a moment and then you want to come out of it, 
can use the block or a water bottle, try that, so that you can push your left palm down and then pull the energy up through your fingertips. Okay, breathe in, reach up. Exhale, extended side angle. So the only thing that moves is your right arm. Okay, allow your right bicep to touch your right ear and then get long through you know, um, the side. So you have diagonal line, heel, hip, shoulder, out through your fingertips. Okay, soft through your breath, open mouth exhales if you need, left rib cage forward, right rib cage back. Okay, breathe in and breathe out. Okay, that big transition is a lateral lunge with a twist. So crawl through the long side of the mat on the right, parallel your front foot to the top of the mat, bend your back leg, your right knee, bend your right knee, and then reach up. Okay, so it's a twist. Try to rip the mat in two by pushing through the pinky edges of your feet. Okay, and then lengthen the spine, and then the twist comes as you let the left rib cage go forward and the right rib cage go back. Looks really good. Okay, breathe in. Exhale, low lunge. Crawl to the top of the mat. Bend your left knee. Pull your shoulders forward, or your shoulders back and the chest forward. Get light through your fingertips and then nice and controlled step forward for your two, or, um, chair pose. Thanks, Jen. Chair pose. Okay, so <clears throat> your feet can be six to eight inches apart or feet touch. Weight is in your heels. Okay, and then slow down the breath. So again, <clears throat> let the mind just slow down a little bit. If it starts to get that mindless little chatter, like, oh my gosh, how long are we gonna be here? It's too long, I can't do this, I need to give up, right? Slow that part down, stay in the breath. One more breath in. Forward fold and breathe out. Halfway lift, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Step or jump back. Upward, uh, upward facing dog, inhale. Low plank pose, exhale. High plank pose, inhale, and downward facing dog. Awesome, Jen. So here's now where you slow down the breath, find the rhythm of the breath, and then let's just put that together a couple times, connecting breath to movement. Here we go. Right heel high, inhale. Right knee, right upper arm, exhale. Slide your knee down to your wrist, and then all the way up, and right heel high, inhale. Just one time, and step through, knee towards your chest, low lunge. Left knee down. Inhale, kneeling crescent, lift chest and arms. Side stretch, exhale, right arm down. Arms up, inhale, high pyramid pose, exhale. Straighten your legs, chest toward your thigh. Look up, inhale, low lunge, exhale. Back foot flat, right palm down, left arm up, inhale. Reach forward, exhale. Lateral lunge with a twist, inhale. Right arm goes down, left arm goes up. Exhale, low lunge, crawl to the top of the mat. One movement, inhale, chair pose. Forward fold and exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale, step or jump back, lower slowly. Upward facing dog, inhale, thighs and knees are lifted. Low plank pose, exhale. High plank pose, inhale. Downward facing dog, left heel high, inhale. Left knee, upper left arm, exhale, slide your knee down to your wrist and all the way up, just that one time, left heel high, inhale, knee towards your chest and then heel toe, step through low lunge, right knee down, inhale, kneeling press it, lift up, side stretch, exhale, arms up, inhale, high pyramid pose, exhale, chest toward your thigh, look up, inhale, Low lunge, exhale, back foot flat, left palm down, right arm high, inhale, reach forward, exhale, lateral lunge with a twist, bend your back knee, right arm goes up, inhale, low lunge, exhale, chair pose, inhale, forward fold and exhale, halfway lift, draw the shoulder blades on the inhale towards one another, chaturanga, exhale, step or jump back, if you're jumping back, please land with bent elbows, Upward facing dog, inhale, let that feel good. Low plank pose, exhale. High plank pose, inhale. And downward facing dog. Slow down your breath. We go one more time each side. Right heel high, inhale. Right knee, right upper arm, exhale. All the way down and all the way up. Right heel high, inhale. Right knee towards your chest, left arm high, inhale. Left knee down, inhale, kneeling crescent. 
Exhale, side stretch. Arms up, inhale. High pyramid pose, back heel is lifted on the exhale. Look up, lengthen, inhale. Low lunge, exhale. Back foot flat, left arm up, inhale. Hips are low. Reach forward, extended side angle, exhale. Lateral lunge with a twist to the back. Big breath in, inhale. Through low lunge, exhale. Inhale, chair pose. Forward fold and exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Step or jump back. Lower slowly. Upward facing, inhale. Low plank pose, exhale. High plank pose, inhale. Downward facing dog. One more time, same sequence. There will be an add-on at the end. Left heel high, inhale. Exhale, knee to upper arm. Slide your knee down to your left wrist and all the way up. Inhale, left heel high. Knee towards your chest, step through and low lunge. Soften your right knee down. Inhale, knee lean crescent, reach up. Exhale, side stretch. Arms up, inhale. Now pyramid pose with the back heel lifted on the exhale. Look up, inhale, low lunge, exhale, back foot flat, left palm down, right arm up, inhale, reach your right arm forward and exhale, lateral lunge with a twist to the back, big breath in, bend, bend into the back leg, exhale, and low lunge, chair pose, inhale, forward fold and exhale, this time halfway lift, inhale, crouch and curl, exhale, get into a nice tight ball, round through your back. A, breathe in and breathe out. Drop your heels down, glutes down. Just a tiny bit of belly up core. Uh, what is this called? Boat pose, boat pose. Just tapping in tiny bit more core before we get into forearm plank. Tiny bit more core. So lift your chest up. Then from here, bring your hands to your chest. Okay, take the breath in. Exhale and twist, and left elbow comes to outer, or right elbow to outer left knee. Come to center, inhale, and then twist. Center, inhale, and twist. Now you can stay here, or you can add on like a low boat pose. You can bend your knee as you um, uh, twist, or stay with the heels down and twist. It's not long. We're here for four, we're here three, we're here two, and one. Last bit, boat pose, breathe in. Exhale, roll back one time, cross your ankles, you don't have to do low bow, and then downward facing dog. Just downward facing dog. Together we breathe, inhale, open your mouth, ha, and exhale. So we'll get right into forearm stand, okay? Drop down to your forearms, walk your toes closer towards your elbows. Hey, before you move on, push heavily through the forearms, okay? So you're pushing down and then hugging in. If you happen to have a block, I'll often wrap my palms around the block. Hey, in the forearm stand, your head is lifted off of the mat. Hey, walk your feet closer towards your elbows, one knee in towards your chest, and then eventually just a little hop, hop with the grounded foot. Looks awesome, Jen, and then yes, perfect. Squeeze at the top, and then you gotta take the arch out of your back. You did that perfectly, Jen. The tendency is this, so you gotta draw the tail towards your heel, uh, your, or your um, yeah, tail towards your heels, so the rib cage pulls in. Awesome, and then play around with that. Take child's pose when you're ready. Okay, so try not to get all caught up um, on whether or not you got into the posture. You can use the wall. And last bit here, like I um, said, you can use the block. Squeeze the block, push the forearms down, keep squeezing the block, a little hop, and then squeeze at the top. Once you're lifted, squeeze the glutes. Squeeze your legs. And then once you've had, all right, Nicole said she totally wiped out, which is so awesome, right? Because if you wipe out here, it's like no one else saw you but yourself, but at least you like, you gave it a go. And so my, my, my thought though is sometime the mind, right? Or not sometimes, most of the time, the mind's gonna process that, store a little emotion like, oh, that was embarrassing. Put it in your head and then next time it's offered, you're like, yeah, I'm not gonna do that again. And so that's what I'm talking about, reframing the mind, be like, that was one moment in time, but right now, maybe we go forward and the outcome will look different, okay? Downward facing dog. Okay, take your time if you need to pause there a little bit more. Okay, there's absolutely no rush. And Jen, actually, that was, if you need a second to just rest, you can. <laughs> Sorry. I'm like, Jen, go here, go there, up, down. 
So just a second, you can grab some water if you like. Maybe you guys are still playing around with us, perfect. Nicole, I'm glad that you're back. Hopefully we can see a picture of Nicole holding forearm stand later. Okay, so once you've had your water, you settled your breath, come into downward facing dog. Okay, yeah, awesome breath. So you can big open mouth exhales. Hmm, Gio, not sure we're done with the hard stuff, but we will slow it down, okay? One day, Nicole, that's exactly the attitude to have. Like one day you get it. Maybe it's for one second you hold it, next will be two, three minutes, okay? All right, down dog, slow and steady breath. Okay, we're slowing it down a little bit, but we are gonna get into some balance, okay? So right heel high, inhale. Exhale, step through, low lunge. This time, leave your back heel lifted. Inhale, rise up, crescent lunge, Anjaneyasana. It's a high lunge position. Okay, so get settled. Turn the hip pointers up and the rib cage in. Slow down the breath. Come back into the sweet sound. Now from here, I'll cue you in just a moment, but we'll work into dancer's pose. Kind of untraditional transition. So notice if you like got irritated just by that, it's like, oh, that's not how you're supposed to transition. All right, let the, mind, let the mind just slow it down. Let's see what works. Okay, here we go. Breathe in. Exhale, left elbow, left side body, palm faces up. Left elbow, left side body, palm faces up. Find some lift and lengthen. Inhale. Dancer's pose. Exhale. Pour the weight to your right foot. Reach back. Grab the big toe side of the left foot. And then kick up and reach forward. Okay. Push heavily through the ball of the grounded foot. Let your toes be nice and wide. Little bend in the grounded leg if you need. Focus on opening up the hip flexor by kicking up. And now open the chest by reaching forward. So it's hamstring opening, hip flexor, back bend, determination, um, confidence, ability to slow down the mind so you can be in it. Okay, so let the breath be fluid. Okay, there is a transition here. So one more breath in. One more breath out. And one leg in mountain pose. Bring your left knee forward and your arms up. Exhale, eagle pose. Left leg up and over, left arm underneath the right, cross with the elbows and wrists. Okay, so for this variation, um, the forearms are away from the face, so less about compression here, more about opening the upper back. And let the hips level off, so for me, I'm super tight, so as soon as I do the wrap, the left hip pulls forward, so you pull the left hip back, right hip forward, weight is in, um, again, your right heel. Stay with it, breathe in. And breathe out. One leg in mountain pose, inhale. Low lunge, exhale. So just set the left foot back. Okay, pause for a moment, drop your left knee down uh, and half splits, right leg straight. Scoot your left hip forward, your right hip back, breathe in. And drop your chest towards your thigh and breathe out. One more time, breathe in. And breathe out. Really nice, look forward, runner's lunge. Bring both hands to the inside of the right foot. Come onto the pinky edge of the right foot and keep your palms down, your forearms down. Whatever feels good. You know, I, I too, like Jen, I like to roll to the pinky edge of the foot to get the groin, the inner thigh. And then I'll also push the ball of the foot down, the right foot down and have the knee for the back. Okay, let's go quad stretch. Bend your left knee, reach your right arm back, grab for your foot. And then once you've got your foot, drive your hips forward and draw your chest up. And breathe in. And breathe out. Play around with hugging your heel towards the glute. And then play around with kicking your heel away from the glute. One more breath in. And back out. Good. Release your left foot. Wiggle your right foot to center. Low lunge. Lift your back knee up. Back foot flat, extended side angle, right palm down, left arm up. Okay, now from here, keep the hips nice and low just to start. Push the right palm down and reach up. Now the only thing that moves is your right leg. Trikonasana triangle pose, just straighten the right leg. You may need to slide your right palm back a tiny bit. And your palm can be on your shin, um, your thigh, but avoid the knee. Okay, and then squeeze the heels towards one another. Again, lengthen your tailbone towards your back heel. Right rib cage forward, left rib cage back. So good job. And then slow and steady breathing. Okay, one more breath in. 
and breath out. Good balancing half moon gaze down at your right big toe. Pour the weight forward. See if you can make that one movement. Lift the left toe down. Stay here in balancing half moon, Ardha Shandrasana. Or maybe tap the right fingertips down. Take that same quad stretch or chapasana, sugar cane variation. Keep like Jensu, you can use the block like I'm doing fingertips. Or maybe hover the palms or the fingertips in line with the right toe. Okay, so slow and controlled breathing. One more breath in and breath out. Awesome, release your left leg, step back, reverse triangle pose. So two legs are straight, squeeze and reach up, knock the hips forward and then squeeze the heels, breathe in, chaturanga and breathe out. Okay, upward facing dog, inhale, take your time. Low plank pose, exhale. High plank pose, inhale. Downward facing dog, find the breath. Slow, controlled breathing. And I step that monkey mind, right? Like that chaotic kind of thinking starts to go, how much longer is it too hard? Start to let that go, appreciate the moment. Okay, left heel high, inhale. Exhale, step through, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge, high lunge. Leave your back heel lifted. Take some time to settle in. Turn your hip pointers up so the rib cage pulls in. Breathe in. Bring your right elbow to your right side body and let the palm face up and breathe out. Okay, lift and lengthen, inhale. Dancers pose, exhale. Pour the weight forward. Grab for the big toe side of your foot and now kick and reach. So let this be your own personal journey. A few moments here to settle into the breath. Okay, and One more breath in. Such a good hold and breathe out. One leg in mountain pose. Bring your right knee forward, your arms up. Exhale, eagle pose. Right leg up and over. So you see how my right hip turned? Get the right hip back, left hip forward, right arm underneath the left. You can tap your finger, your um, right toes to the mat or wrap them around your calf. They get nice and low. Squeeze the legs. Pull the forearms away from your face. Open the upper back. Draw the rib cage in. Get nice and low. So good. Breathe in. And breathe out. Amazing. Unwind your arms, inhale, one leg in mountain pose, right knee up, step back, low lunge. Nice and softly, right knee down, half split, straighten your left leg. Okay, speed your right hip forward, your left hip back. Like Jen and I are both doing, we're rounding to the back, so it's about the spine and the back of the leg. Play with that, or retract your shoulders. Try to straighten your leg as much as possible. Your left leg as much as possible. Don't worry less about how far down you go. More about retracting the shoulders and chest goes well. Breathe in. And breathe out. Look forward. Inhale. Runner's lunge. Uh, exhale. Or lizard pose. Bring left foot out wide. Both hands to the inside of your left foot. Drive the hips forward. Bend your right knee and come into the quad stretch. Or pause for a little longer here. Okay, take the quad stretch when you're ready. Okay, breathe in. And breathe out. One more time, breathe in. And breathe out. Good, release your right foot. Wiggle your left foot to center, so hands frame the left foot. Lift your right knee off the mat, spin your back foot flat, extended side angle. Left arm goes down, right arm goes up. A hips go nice and low. And then from here, only thing that moves, left leg, triple nas and a triangle pose, straight to your left leg. Yeah, so try to keep um, long through your side body. Squeeze the heels towards one another. Worry less about how far down you go and more about the reach up. Breathe in. And breathe out. Awesome, stay here, marinate and breathe, or balancing half moon. Gaze down at your left big toe, pour the weight into the left foot, and slowly tip forward. So right hip is on top of the left, push through the ball of the ground with foot. Stay here, or chopasana sugar cane variation, bend your right knee. Grab for the ankle, for some part of the foot. Left palm can stay just beneath the left shoulder, or fingertips in line with the left toe. Breathe in, and breathe out. So good, release your right foot. Step back, inhale, reverse triangle. Two legs are straight, left arm goes up, squeeze the heel, 
heels, breathe in. Exhale, chaturanga. Windmill your arms down. Step your left toes back. Lower slowly. Upward facing, inhale. Low plank pose, exhale. High plank pose, inhale. Downward facing dog. Breathe in. And breathe out. Super good. Soften your knees down. Swing your hips to the left, your legs to the right. Have a seat. Let's close out with figure four stretch. Cross your right ankle over your left knee. Roll your shoulders back and pull your chest forward. Jen's like, you never get half pigeon in. And it's only because it takes a while. And I have less than 55 minutes. But if you'd like full pigeon, absolutely, of course, take that. <clears throat> if you're in the seated variation, roll your shoulders back and pull the chest forward. And go for it, Jen. And you breathe in. And breathe out. Now, if you're in a half pigeon like Jen is, feel free to stay. If you're like um, in the seated variation, you can stay or add a twist. Okay, right arm goes up, breathe in. And then bring your arm to your foot. Push your foot into arm, arm back into the foot. Let your left shoulder pull back. Move your gaze towards the back of the room. So although the pacing is slower, you're still leaning into the breath to open you up physically. Breathe in. And breathe out. Take your time, come out of the posture, and then we switch sides. So right foot goes down, left ankle over the right knee. Bring your uh, right heel as close to your glute as you need to feel the openness. So some of you, the right heel may be way, way forward. Some of you, the heel touching the glute. You roll your shoulders back, breathe in. Pause and breathe out. Good, stay here. If you're taking the twist, bring your right heel forward a little bit. Reach your arm up, breathe it, left arm up, breathe in. Exhale and twist and breathe out. One more breath in. And twist a little bit more. Good, awesome. Take your time and in your own unique way, make your way all the way down to your back. Pull your knees up and toward your chest, little rock side to side, side to side. And then take about 30 seconds here to come into um, a posture that works for you. Now, if you have more time, absolutely take five, 10 minutes to slow it down. Hey, we've got the hip opening in already, um, so maybe it's another back bend. Maybe if you were in full pigeon and you didn't get your twist in to close out the practice, maybe simply drop the knees to the left and gaze to the right. So again, back into um, postures that you know, put the period on, on your physical practice. If you're taking a two-sided posture like Jen, please switch sides. What's up, Equinox? Thanks for jumping on. Thanks, Jackie, I miss you. Take your time, come back in the center, hug your knees up and in. Draw little circles on the ceiling going one direction and then the other direction. Nice big hug, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze in. Breathe in. And open your mouth, exhale. Ha, and float your way into a resting posture. Okay, let your feet just flop open. Thank you guys so much. Love you guys. Let your arms just relax by your sides. Cuddle the shoulder blades a little closer towards one another. You know, if you want to jump off the feet, no problem. And then take five, ten minutes of Shavasana would be perfect. And I just continuously invite you to take postures like the Shavasana that allow you to slow down the breath, to get out of that chaotic thinking in the mind, and, and move into <clears throat> ease and surrender through your heart space. Okay? I am absolutely joy of, um, honored that you have joined. Thank you, Jen. Please rest in the space of love and support. Shabbat shalom. And almost